Well, here we are. Me, Brian. <laughs> so, you guys already by now know. Yeah, a lot of you do. A lot of you going to find out in the next day or two or a week or so. Right? You know, what the fuck? I was talking to a friend of mine, William. Right? William and Melissa. They they are some really good friends. Uh, they are, they're actually some of the people, a young couple that came all the way to Rachel to visit me when I was in Rachel. Right? And uh, William reminded me of something just now. Right? William reminded me, right, that... that there is a possibility here that I have been spending way too much of my time, right, trying to help other people when I should actually be helping myself. And I think that's my message today, right? Um, you know, remember my, my famous line, when you wake up that morning and you find yourself in that situation where you have no control, let it go. Right? Well, I'm going to add a little bit to that. Not only do you need to let it go, but you also need to focus on yourself and your part in that situation, right? And, and you need to, and you're right, William, you need to figure out what it is that you can do for yourself. Now, I've been doing this for years, right? I'm not going to die. I'm, I'm kind of hungry right now, but I'm not going to starve. You know what I'm saying? I got my friend, right? So I'm not going to, you know, dehydrate, right? And yes, it is pretty hot right now. But, but, you know, I've done this for a long time in this city. Now, I don't want to be in this city. I really, truly don't. I would rather be anywhere else. Fuck, I, I think I might, I, I think I'd rather be in hell almost, right, than be here, right? Because Phoenix does suck. It's one gigantic, huge city, 315 square miles. It's actually 13 different cities put together, right? And then somewhere here, I'm going to find something. I am. I'm not going to give up. Thank you, Rebecca. Right? I'm not going to give up. Right? Just like you didn't give up. Right? Um, I'm going to hunt around and see if I could get me a bike. If I could get me a bicycle, then I'm mobile and I can do way more for myself. I can go more places. I, I can go down to some of the places where they feed homeless people and I can get some clothes. Because as you can see, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, you know, actually prepared for Phoenix, Arizona in 101 degrees. I'm, I'm prepared for Oklahoma and 101% humidity, all right? Uh, it's all good. I truly appreciate everybody who's made comments, you know what I'm saying, and has shown me support and has shown me love, you know what I'm saying? I'm not asking anybody for anything. I'm, I'm doing fairly well. Um, I, I have a little bit of money. Right, and, and I should be getting paid, like I said in another previous video, I should be getting paid here in the next few days from YouTube. Right, and I will have a phone, right, so you guys, you know, so anybody that wants to, you know, contact me or get a hold of me or, send or ask me any questions or, or, or you guys just want to pray for me, please, please do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not giving up, Rebecca. I'm not, I can't. I'm too damn old, too damn stubborn, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's not, it's, I'm not going to lay down here on the sidewalk and just give up. I'm not. Right? But I am going to take William's advice, and I am going to start doing for myself a little bit more. And saying, and I'm not, you know, it's not that I don't care about people. I, you know, I'm one of them weird, odd, you know, odd people that, that actually believes in all of us. Right? And I appreciate all of you guys that believe in me. So hang in there. I'll be all right. Just be right. Sitting in the shade, trying to cool off a little. Thank you.